Hello guys! In this tutorial, we want to create not found component. So where you didn't find anything, you should see a not found. If you search for something that is not available here, for example, butter, you shouldn't see blank screen. You should see this. Nothing found and reset search. When you click on the reset search, you should come back to the main page. Or when the cart page is empty, you should see cart page is empty. This is what we want to build in this session. Watch this video to the end if you like to know how. Okay, first of all, we need to generate the not found component. Open up a new terminal and write ng gc not dash found okay here we go let's see if we have it here open up the explorer src app and we have newly created not found component here so let's go for the next step that is adding parameters as input with default values for visible not found message reset link text and reset link route let me show you how to do it inside the not found folder not found component ts file here we want to add the properties. The first property is visible. It's a Boolean and it's false by default. The second property is not found message. It's a string and its default value is nothing found. The third parameter is reset link text. It's a string and its default value is reset. And the fourth parameter is reset link route. So where should it go when we click on the reset button? Should go by default to the home page. That its route is a slash. Okay. But we need to define these parameters as inputs because we want to send values from where we want to use them. Okay. We need to have input annotation here. So let's go in the beginning. Write add sign input. Press tab. And parentheses. Add this thing to the beginning of all parameters. So all of our parameters are defined as inputs. Let's see where we are in the bullet points. We added the visible not found message, reset link text, and reset link routes as inputs. So we did this whole step. Let's go for the next step that is adding input params inside the template file. It means we want to show view with these parameters to the user. Let's do it. We don't have anything to do here. Let's close the TS file, open up the explorer, open up the template file, remove everything from here. We need to have a div here and this div needs an NGF to be shown conditionally when visible is true. And inside it, we need to show the not found message inside the interpolation. And we need to have a link A with the router link of reset link route that is by default slash that will go to the home page and the text of the a tag should be reset link text okay we're done here let's get back to the bullet points we just used all the parameters inside the template file now before adding css styles to the component i really want to use this not found component somewhere like inside the cart page i think it's a better idea because we could be able to see how it's going to look like so let's do this part Let's close this. We don't have anything to do here. Now Explorer, inside the cart page component, HTML file. Here inside the first div, we need to add a condition, star and GF. If the cart is not null and cart.items.length are bigger than zero, okay? So if the cart is not null or when there is at least one item inside the cart, show this div. That is the whole container of the cart page. But before that, I want to do exactly the opposite of this. Let's say app not found, its visible property should be equal to not cart or when the cart.items.length are smaller than or equal to zero. Let's close the app not found, but I want to change the text. The not found message should be cart page is empty. And for the reset link text, I want to say go to home page. I don't want to change the reset link route because I want to go to the home page and it goes to the home page by default. Now let's see it in action. Let's go to the cart page that is still empty. Okay, we have cart page is empty. Go to home page. It doesn't have any styles. It's the best time for working on the style of this. Let's get back to the bullet points and check this cart page here. We added the not found component to the cart page. It's time for adding the styles to the component because it's very, very small. I don't want to create another episode for this 
close this, open up Explorer, and open up not found component CSS file. Here inside the not found component HTML file, we only have one div without any other containers. So here we could select the div. We need to set its display to flex, align items, center, justify content, center, flex direction, should be column, top to bottom, font size, 1.5 rem, font weight, as light as possible. Let's give it a default height, height 20 pH, 20% 20 of the height of the view. Okay, let's see it in action. Okay, not bad. Let's check out the functionality. Oh, it works. We get back and forth this page. It's much more beautiful. But I want to make this go to home page like a button. Okay, let's work on it. Let's write div A. Its font size should be one RAM. Its background color be hash E72929. Color that we used a lot. Color should be white. Border radius 10 RAM. Adding 0.7 RAM from top and bottom and one RAM from left and right. Margin, one RAM from all sides. And the opacity should be 0.8. Okay, before seeing the result, let's implement the hover effect too. Div A hover. Opacity 1 and cursor pointer. We did it a lot before. I'm pretty sure that you know what I'm talking about. Let's see the results. Very good. Much more beautiful. Let's click on the go to the home page. Here we go. We are on the home page. Now let's jump into the bullet points. We just added the CSS styles to the component. Now we have only two things to do. Adding not found component to the home page and to the food page. Let's go to the home page and add it for the search. Close the CSS, an HTML file, explorer, home component, and home component HTML file. For the foods, since we are using an ng4, when we don't have any foods, it's not going to show anything. We don't need to touch anything here. But here before the ul, we could add app not found. Don't want to change anything here. Just need to stay visible. Show it when there is no foods or when the foods.length is smaller than or equal to zero. Just like how we did for the cart page. Here we go. Let's see it in action. Search for something that is not available here. Here we go, nothing found, and the reset button. Instead of reset, we could say reset search. Let's change it. Reset link text could be reset search. Much better, could come back to the main page. And lastly, we need to add the not found component inside the food page. For the default use case, we don't need it. For example, if we click on this product, it will go to the product page. Everything is valid. But sometimes you may remove your product from your website, but may have somebody that link inside his bookmark. What should happen? It should show a not found page. Okay. So let's change this ID here to something bigger than what we have. For example, nine, and press enter. As you can see, by default, the user will see some Something like this that is not pleasing to watch so let's implement not found for this food page too. close the home component open up food page and the food page template file let's add an ngf here that is the holder of whole food page ngf show the food elements only if the food is valid okay and on top of it Let's add app not found and write visible if the food is not valid. So if the food is not valid, we want to show not found for this. It's not found message should be product not found. And it's reset link text should be equal to back to homepage. Let's see it in action. Let's put the number that is not available. Nine. As you can see, we have product not found here. And back to home page. And we click on it, we're gonna get back to the home page. So we did everything that we had here. We added the not found component, the home page, food page, and this. And we generate everything about not found component. So this was the last session about creating an online food store front end using Angular. I have a plan for creating a lot of videos like this. So if you like it, don't forget to follow my tutorials. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell button to not miss the future videos. You've been watching Code with Nasir and I hope to see you next time.